All right, welcome back. Chipotle out with earnings for Q1. Revenue exceeding expectations as customers were flat out willing to pay more for just about everything. Nick Setian, Wedbush Securities Managing Director with us now to break down these numbers. Uh, bottom line, what stood out to you, sir? Well, the comp, first of all, uh, and the guidance for Q2, right? 10 to 12 percent for Q2 after beating on the comp uh, in Q1 versus a uh, a 9% expectation in Q2. Um, so, you know, at the midpoint, we're two percentage points above uh, consensus. Um, now, you know, the the, the margins are is, is what everyone's going to be focused on in terms of the commentary around Q2, uh, whether they're going to be able to take enough pricing, incremental pricing from here to offset the incremental food, food inflation we're seeing from here, especially post-Ukraine. So that's really what the focus is going to be on on the call. We didn't get any incremental information around margins. Uh, on go forward margins uh, in the press release and that's going to be the key that will determine whether the stock is up from here or, or might even be that you know what well, might even open down tomorrow depending on the margin commentary was down five percent uh, on the day but has risen in after hours trading chipotle paying a 24 year high for avocados but today they say they're paying more for beef paper labor how much of this were they able to pass on to consumers yeah, like this is industry wide, right? I mean, it's not just Chipotle. Everyone's paying more for everything. Uh, and so, you know, we estimate that an incremental sort of one or two percent price increase from here should be enough to offset the, the incremental uh, inflation we're seeing uh, post Ukraine. Uh, you know, pre pre Ukraine, I thought, you know, the, the, the inflation was pretty much uh, baked in. The pricing was enough to offset that type of inflation. But post Ukraine, we're seeing more. So. You know, I think we, we're going to need to see another one or two percentage points. I think that should be enough. And I, I think we get it you know, on the call. How much of the cost increases are due to the war in Ukraine when it comes to, to corn and wheat in particular? Yeah, corn and wheat, um, that's 100 uh, percent, you know, due to Ukraine. And so especially over the last, say, you know, three to three, three weeks to four weeks, uh, and and obviously that's something that's that's an important you know part of of, of what Chipotle's cost of, of of goods are. So, um, you know that it, it it is you know the the new reality. Everyone has to deal with it. Um, and so as long as grocery inflation is what it is, I think we have mm -hmm. enough room within restaurants to take incremental pricing to offset it. Uh, it's more than 70% of Chipotle stores are in areas where the median income is $60,000 or less. Are they walking a very tight rope in terms of how much of these cost increases they can pass on? Well, look, I mean, that's, a, that's the big question across the space. But again, when we look at, you know, the, the price increase that Chipotle is taking, the price increase that everyone within the industry is taking, right? And McDonald's is taking over 6%. All of Garden Gardens, they're, I mean, I expect them to take in, in the mid to high single digits. Um, so everyone's taking these price increases and grocery inflation is up, you know, 10%. So when you're buying pasta at the grocery store and you're paying 50% to 100% higher than you were three months ago, you know, suddenly that 10% price increase at Chipotle doesn't look so bad. And so, um, you know, historically, that's what's really mattered uh, is the grocery inflation. And so as long as, um, you know, we have that, type of a, of, a, of a ceiling, which is 10% plus in terms of grocery, I think Chipotle's current price increases are doable. Obviously, the cost of labor has increased, and Chipotle does some innovative things to, to try to address that. They're experimenting with an autonomous kitchen assistant that they call Chippy that could make uh, tortilla chips. They've invested $50 million in Cultivate Next, which invests in innovative restaurant technology. How much is Chipotle willing to innovate to, to solve tomorrow's challenges? Well, bottom line is there's just not enough uh, employees uh, to satisfy everyone's needs. Um, and so technology is going to have to be a big part of the solution. Uh, and so, uh, you know, Chipotle, McDonald's, Jack in the Box, I mean, you name it, everyone's looking at technological solutions uh, for, for that need. Uh, and so I think it's going to be a big, big part of capital expenditures and, and research and development going forward uh, for Chipotle and for you know everyone in, within the restaurant space. Uh, it's not something that we're going to see benefit the, the bottom line in the next you know, quarter or two, but it's certainly something that we're looking to you know, over the next two to three years. So McDonald's and Domino's report Thursday. We'll see if this has any bearing on their earnings. Thank you, sir. Nick Setian from Wedbush Securities uh, Managing Director. Thanks, Thank you. you.